Hello friends, welcome back and this is Farah Sheikh with you. In today's Excel video, we are going to learn how to combine the multiple Excel worksheets into a single worksheet. We come across a situation many times, we need to consolidate multiple worksheets into a single worksheet that allow us to do various kind of analysis or you need to make a pivot table of that. In today's video, we are going to cover up all those aspects. So let us dive into our Excel sheet. So this is our sales data for the year 2012 to 2016 and we would like to consolidate all this information into one excel sheet and to do that we are going to use the help of the power query but before that we need to convert all this data to excel tables now let us assume that you might be having 30 40 sheets over here it's not that feasible to do that action so in my earlier video i have shown how to convert the data to excel tables with the help of the macro so you can check the link in the below video description well, my macro is readily available over here, which is my personal tab over here for us. Convert data to Excel tables. If I simply hit this one, all the data has been converted to Excel tables. And we have the table name as per the sheet name over here. But if you have seen, there's an underscore. If you are familiar working with Excel tables, you know that it will not accept the number. So that's why there's an underscore before the number. So let us go and pull this information to Power Query. Let's go to the data ribbon tab, other data ribbon tab, get and transform. Go to get data, other sources, blank query. So before we begin, I would like to give our query a nice name, all sales data. Now make sure that your formula bar is enabled. In case if it is not enabled, you need to go to view and under the view layout, you need to check that. Now if you see unchecked and checked again, so you get the formula bar over here. Now with this line of function, we are going to pull all the information to Power Query equals to Excel. So as soon as I wrote Excel, my friends, it has given me all combination matched what I am looking for with this new IntelliSense feature. So this will help us to unlock all the features available in the Power Query. And I know this stuff will be very handy and very much needed. Currently, it is available only for the Office Insiders. It will be rolled out to all the users as well. So here, once I wrote an Excel, we need the function excel.currentworkbook. Note my friends, Power Query is case sensitive, which means you have to write exactly the same function what has been written over here. Now I'm going to close the parentheses and hit enter. So I got all the Excel tables over here. Let us assume that it was just a small workbook, W. Then you must have noticed I got an expression error. I'll turn it back again workbook so we got our excel tables back over here all the data has been loaded to the power query and this is the table name which we have it in the excel tables and this is exactly the table so make sure you don't click it on the table okay instead of that you click it on the white space area so you can see the table data over here i'll just simply clean this column i don't need that underscore so i can just simply go to transform replace the underscore value with nothing and then in the place of content we are going to click the expand button over here and this expand button will allow to expand the information use original column prefix name no we don't want that and we will say okay and we have all our data being loaded over here i'm quickly going to change the data types and now we are going to load this data to our excel sheet so we are going to go to close and load. Now we have two options over here. I would just prefer to select close and load too. Now we would like to import this data as an Excel table and it will be a new worksheet. Wonderful. So we got our data loaded over here and we are going to call this sheet as a master sheet. Now if you see the connection, we have one error over here. The reason of this error, my friends, I know because even this table is an Excel table. So when the query is running, it is refreshing the data. It is taking this table also in the consideration. So we don't need this all sales data table to be considered during the consolidation. So if I refresh it, the data gets doubled and we got 996 errors. So let us go back to our editor. And I will go back to my source. And I'll refresh it again, refresh. So we have that sales table as well. Now, since I know the pattern of my data, I know the pattern of my Excel table. So I can simply say something what is begins with underscore. 
and there's nothing worry we can just insert this step and we'll say underscore okay so you must have seen that all sales data table has been excluded from this list and now it looks exactly the same so now we are going to say close and load and this time our data is error free with this data i'm quickly going to prepare a pivot table and then i'm going to pull some new data to check how our magical code is working so our pivot table is ready over here and i'm going to pull the new data from the new sheet and this is a sheet what we have received and it has the sales for 2017 18 and 19 and i'm going to select this sheet by holding the shift key all the way to my last records so all sheets are selected now right click move or copy and we are going to create a copy or you can just simply move the data from here but i would prefer to have a copy of this one and move it to the sales data and we are going to move it exactly to the end of those sheets and we have it over here now these sheets are not into an excel table so how do i know that this data is not an excel table because there is no ribbon has been pop up for the table now to convert them again i'm going to go to my 2017 or even if i can click it on this sheet no problem excel will do the job for me i will go again back to my macro go to convert data now just simply go here select this refresh refresh all now we have the data 2017 to 19 as well now here we will go to the pivot table and refresh again so we got the data for 2017 18 19 one very important thing to remember my friends when the sheet is consolidating the data the source information has been pulled out from all these sheets so in case if you make any changes or any amendments in the sheet it will get reflected in the master sheet like if I made any changes on this sheet, which is the query sheet, there will be no impact on the source sheet. So always remember, if you would like to add a new information or new records, make sure that you add it to the source. And if you would like to delete the query without impacting the table, so you can go to the data and under the data, you can say queries and connection, right click and delete the query. So once you delete the query and if you add new information to the source, it will not get refresh but right now i am not going to delete the query so this is how we consolidate multiple excel sheets into one sheet this is one of the easiest solution available in excel most of the people try to do it with the vba i'm not denying the power of the vba it has its own benefit but power query can do your job within fractions of seconds and in this you don't need to have the knowledge of the programming you just simply need to follow some steps and get your job done so i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon for the latest updates and do let me know your thoughts in the below video comment section and i would love to hear your feedback so signing off for the day your friend Farah Sheikh from fshake excel master see you soon happy learning have a great day